Marriage of True Minds, an analysis of Shakespeare's Sonnet 116 by Tyler Skaggs. Shakespeare's legacy is riddled with different controversies. Not only do some say he didn't write many of his own works, but he was said to love little boys. Shakespeare wrote many fascinating pieces, but one of his best is Sonnet 116. It is said to be Shakespeare confessing his love for the young boy. It contains short statements of what love is and what love is not to help prove his point. The first quatrain of Sonnet 116 is about a wedding. However, this is not about an actual wedding, but a wedding of two minds. The marriage of the two minds is because the two minds are those of Shakespeare and the young boy. These two people can never actually be together, so their minds must not wander and stay together. This quatrain says what love is and counteracts the previous quatrain. The second quatrain is about a lighthouse and how it is similar to a relationship. The lighthouse would have been a very important symbol in Shakespeare's time because the sailors would have had no other way of finding the port, especially during a storm. A relationship is like this because, even though there may be fights and differences, if there is true love, they will stay together forever. Love's not times full, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. Love, unlike beauty, is not affected by time. It can endure forever. Shakespeare again says what love is not to help make his argument about love stronger. Here, Shakespeare shows the love not through bodily form, but through a spirit form. He states that love is not only through the time on earth, but through all time to the edge of doom. This shows how the love, whether for a young boy or an older woman, can last forever. In the final couplet, Shakespeare reaffirms everything stated, but admits that he may be wrong about love. However, if he is wrong, then no man has ever truly loved. This couplet is very important to this piece because Shakespeare makes very strong assumptions within it. Since he made so many assumptions, he states that if he is wrong, then he will stop writing and admit his fault. But if he is right, then he knows love, and love can endure forever. Shakespeare is a man of many great works, and even though some say he is fake, he is still one of the best playwrights and writers of all time. Sonnet 116 is about his love for a young boy, and he uses many types of writing to show his point. By saying what love is and is not, Shakespeare makes strong points about his love. Love is powerful and can last forever, and Shakespeare proves this.